In between her dentures clacking, Nancy Pelosi slurred in a drunken stupor, and the truth came out for just a few seconds as the Democrats tried to memory hold exactly how Kamala Harris got selected without being voted for in her office. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is the Doug Tenaple channel. And you're sitting here in exile being tormented with me as the media tries to brainwash us all. Watch this. You had reportedly said you wanted a sort of an open primary when if Joe Biden stepped down. Did you change your mind because you saw all the excitement around Kamala Harris? No, I didn't change my mind. We had an open primary and she won it. Nobody else got in the race because she was politically astute and... No, so I love this. So this is a Democrat journalist telling her, so you didn't want a open primary. Pelosi goes, oh no, we had an open primary. That's like a total gaslighting move where you go and you abuse someone else going, you're crazy if you think we didn't have an open primary. And she goes, anyone could have run. Sure, sure, Nancy, whatever you say, honey. When you go into your 12-step group, you should call a sponsor, get a couple days of sobriety, then rethink that comment, uh, whether if you had an open primary or not. Some great memes. In case you missed it, not one U.S. citizen voted for Harris to replace Biden. Here's Chris Farley. Remember when you dropped out of the 2020 presidential race because you were pulling at 1%? That was awesome. Here's Bill Clinton with a whole different style of gaslighting. And then he did something that's really hard for a politician to do. He voluntarily gave up political power. And Is that what he did? He voluntarily gave up political power? Isn't that just so Joe Biden? That's just so Joe Biden to be that kind of guy that wins a primary and then voluntarily gives up political power. No, there's an evil clown force behind that decision. George Washington knew that, and he did it. And he set the standard for us serving two turns before it was mandatory. It helped his legacy, and it will enhance Joe Biden's legacy. Now, that's a weird... I I didn't see that parallel coming up. See, George Washington served two terms. Joe Biden served one term. And Bill Clinton's going, that's the same spirit of turning down power. No, the reason why George Washington turned down power is because he had served two terms. Okay, you're allowed to serve two terms. Joe Biden's like the first guy that won a primary and then only served one term after winning the candidacy for the second term. He stepped down. Bill Clinton, you weirdo brainwashing assaulter of the innocent. Look, here's uh, the Connecticut Democrat presidential election results. If you look at that ballot over there on the right, you got Joe Biden. You know whose name is not on the ballot? Kamala Harris. She wasn't even on the ballot. Here's Alexander Solzhenitsyn. We know they're lying. They know they are lying. They know that we know they're lying. And we know that they know we know that they are lying. And still, they continue to lie. Here's Bill Maher. And for whatever reason, Harris has never been popular. You can count the number of delegates she won in the 2020 primaries on one hand, as long as that hand has no fingers. <laughs> Remember, when they call you anti-Democrat, they are really projecting. They know deep down inside they are against the election. This is the last time that their candidate is going to be elected. They were absolutely selected without a vote. Unless you voted for Kamala Harris in the primary, please refrain from calling Trump a, quote, threat to democracy, unquote. It makes you look super dumb. Here's another meme. Not to brag, but I, Doug Tenaple, have won the same amount of primaries as Kamala Harris. No, he got thrown out of a window, and, and basically he was forced. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of talk tonight about uh, how generous it was of him uh, to and, and, and selfless of him. He was basically forced out by Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama and Chuck Schumer and Hakeem Jeffries. Remember when the Democrats say that Trump is a threat to democracy, laugh in their face extra, extra hard till tears come out. Rah, rah, rah. I'm Doug in exile.